At the end of this video, you'll know how to add a related contact and a release of information. To add a related contact to a client, navigate to the client's chart and then the contact tab. Select within the search bar and start typing the related contact's last name. This will generate four red options and the search results. Make sure to review the search results before selecting one of the red options. If the related contact already exists within Best Notes, you can associate them with this client by selecting that name. If this is a new related contact, you can select New Individual or New Business. Selecting one of these options will open a new contact window. In the yellow section at the top, you will define how this contact is related to the client. There are additional checkboxes to further define the relationship. The two-way checkbox will connect the client chart to the related contact, which means that you will be able to see the client from the related contacts file. Once you have recorded the related contacts information, you will need to select an accessible by tag. The recommended tag for these types of contacts is the global tag. The global tag will ensure that you are not pulling individuals into your client reports. Once you have selected an accessible by tag, you will be able to select save. Once this contact is saved, you will be taken back to the client's chart, where you will see the related contact within the contacts tab. If you need to open the related contacts contact information, select their name, and the contact card will be available below. To create any release of information forms, you will need to have the add consents permission on your user account. Once you have that permission, you will see the Add Consent dropdown. There are three types of consent forms and two categories for these releases. The Client Present Forms, if selected within this category, will time out your best notes because the client is with you and could potentially see your screen when you are reviewing the form. The Client Not Present Forms, if selected within this category, will not time out your screen because the client is not there and will not have the potential to see your screen. The three types of consent forms are the standard release, pay release, and court-related release. When viewing the standard consent release form, you will see the client's information is automatically populated if it exists within their chart. The hereby authorize will pull your facility information over if it is entered in the settings within the facilities tab. This release defaults to exchange information. If it is intended to be one-directional, you will have to select that on the release. This will also pull the related contacts information over if it is entered. There are two requirements on the standard release form. The first requirement is that you have to select the type of information the client is allowing you to disclose to this person. We also have a text field that you can document anything that is not listed within the existing checkboxes. The second requirement is that you have to give a purpose for this release form. Underneath the purpose, you will have the disclosure format and then the HIPAA legal paragraph. Then it is stated that this consent will expire within one year unless specified below. In this text field, you can enter the direction the client gives for the date, event, or condition upon which they would like this to expire. Once this form is filled out, review your signers and save and sign when you are finished. You will then be asked to add contact digital signature. Select yes. The client will now need to enter in their four digit PIN and select submit. Then you will need to sign back in to Best Notes. Once you have added a release of information form to a related contact, you will see a new symbol on the related contact line. The letter within the square and the color will change depending on the type of form used and the status of that form. The S is for the standard release of information, the P is for the payer release of information, and the C is for the court related release of information. If the symbol is blue, there are pending signatures. If it is green, it is active. And if it is red, that means it has been revoked. If you forget what the symbol or color means, you can select that related contact's name and below their contact card are all consent forms, which type of form, their status, and who created the form. To revoke a release of information form, find the release of information in the activity log or below the contact card and select the form. Once that form opens, you can select the Revoke button in the top left-hand corner. Select the Revoke type. Type in a reason for the revocation, then select OK. The information at the top of the release form and that symbol will immediately turn red. 
indicating that this form has been revoked. If you select the related contact under their contact card, you can see the date that it was revoked. Now you know how to add a related contact and how the release of information forms work. If you have any questions, you can reach out to Best Notes Support 1-800-227-8800.